Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to try to develop that same equation, that same formula to find the equivalent focal length of a triple lens system. So we have three lenses with three different focal lengths. We start with an original object in front of the first lens and we end up with a final image, image three, behind the third lens. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be behind, but we're just going to place it there to make things a little bit easier. This is just a general approach. S1 is the distance from the original object to the first lens, and S3 prime is the image distance from the final image to the third lens. Now, we know that we can say that S3 prime is going to be equal to the product of S3 times F3 divided by S3 minus F3, S3 being the object distance of the third lens. The third object, which of course was the image of the second object, and therefore, we, we can replace S3 by D2 minus S2 prime. S2 prime is the distance to the second image, which then, of course, becomes the object of the third image. But we have to take into account the distance between the second and the third lens, which we'll call D2. Now, we're going to replace S2 prime by this quantity inside the brackets here, which we obtained at a previous video. So when we do that, when we replace S2 prime by this quantity here, and we do it again in the denominator, we end up with this rather complicated equation. Notice the difference here that F3 is multiplied by this, and here F3 is subtracted from that. Now to make things easier, we're going to put the lenses close together and remove D1 and D2. We're going to set D1 equal to 0 and D2 equal to 0. D1 is the distance between lens 1 and lens 2. D2 is the distance between lens 2 and lens 3. When we do that, and the Ds disappear, of course, don't forget we have this negative here, which applies to this negative, makes this positive, so we end up with a, well, somewhat simplified equation. To simplify it even a little bit further, because we notice we have an S1 minus F1 in each of the four denominators here, we can actually multiply the numerator and the denominator by the quantity S1 minus F1 divided by S1 minus F1. So we're going to multiply this by this, and then we're going to do it again over here. Put some brackets around there. So we're going to multiply this by S1 minus F1 over S1 minus F1. Of course, that's basically multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by a 1. So there should be a 1 here. Okay, now when we do that, we multiply this by this, this disappears. Multiply this times this, this disappears, but then here we have to multiply this by an S1 minus F1. Can't forget that. We do the same in the denominator, this will make this disappear. And this will make this disappear if we multiply this also times an S1 minus F1, like this. Put brackets around that and extend the bracket this way, so we include that. And notice we multiply this times this, since we multiply this by 1, that doesn't change at all. Now, let's see what that equation simplifies to next. So over here, we'll rewrite the equation. In the numerator, we end up with an S1, F1, F2, F3. And whenever we have that like that, that looks promising because we know we end up with something like that. In the denominator, let's see here, we have this times this. So we end up with a, a minus, let's see, we have minus S1, F1, minus S1, F1. We have a minus S1, F2, minus S1, F2. And we have a positive F1, F2 in the denominator there. So we have the numerator, we have the denominator. We divide that by, here in the numerator, we have an S1, F1, F2. Uh, let's see, we'll leave the minus F3 alone for a moment. In the denominator, we have, let's see, here we have a minus S1, F1. Oops, that should be F1. And then we have a minus S1, F2. And we have a positive F1, F3. Uh, this F3, I meant F2. And we still have the minus F3 here. We have to put that there. And that is equal to S3 prime. So this is where we end up so far. Of course, we're by no means ready yet to put in the format something that looks like this. 
1 over S3 prime is equal to 1 over F total plus 1 over S1. Uh, let's see, that's going to be minus, right, because we isolate that. So that's the equation we want to end up at. We want to solve for F total, that is the equivalent focal length of the three lenses combined, and somehow we're supposed to get it out of this equation. Obviously, with the lack of board space, we'll do another video to complete this one, and hopefully we'll find the equivalent focal length for the three lenses using this approach as well. That's how it's done. Stay tuned. we got a next video to finish off the problem.